guys what's up I'm doing a little review here on the gyre that I just bought the gyre interface module so go to do a YouTube search on the gyre interface module Coral View makes a, a review they do a good job on it uh, demonstration how to set it up how to create profiles all that kind of stuff it's easy to do if I can do it you could do it I'm pretty computer illiterate. I mean, I know YouTube and I know Borderlands too, and that's kind of about it. What you do is you remove the regular controller, you know, the little dial, that sort of thing. You just unplug it and plug the other piece in, and you're done. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more videos. Okay, maybe there's a little bit more to it, but I don't know Fusion too well, so I just go through the dashboard put an apex in the search bar and you'll kind of get this sort of thing and you'll get you know one of your go go to the coral view website i'll say and they'll they'll show you how to do it but if you go to configuration and outlet setup you can see the profiles i actually made so here it says There we go. My tank, I started this at 3 a.m. My lights turn off at 3 a.m. I work nights and uh, that's how it is. So I have three to four ramp down 60. So what that means, I created the title ramp down 60, is it ramps down over the course of 60 minutes. And it goes from the highest I run man at is 60%. And I have the 250. And the 250 is on a, a 105 tank, so my tank's dimensions are 4 foot by 2 foot by 21 inches tall. I have the 250. I don't run it above 60% really. And I could have gone away with uh, the 130. I just thought, well, if I have the extra power, great. And But, you know, I, I probably could have gone with the 130. Um, and um, so in any event... I really don't run it above 60%. So four to five, it's pulse three, two. And what that means is the max speed I have it at, at pulsing is 60% and the lower speed, 40%. So it's three seconds on high, then two seconds on the lower, and it kind of alternates. Then comp 30 is continuous at 30%. And um, so if you go to the Coral View website and They'll talk about it uh, via their videos. The, the max spec does not run below 20%. And that's, that's even on the other controller, you know, the, the controller that it comes with. If you turn it all the way down, it's still technically on 20%. But, um, so I have one called Then Clean. And what clean is, I just made that profile name up because I tried to emulate uh, what the Vortex do, and the Vortex have like a clean mode where pulse is really fast, a rapid pulse, and then it stops, and then it's a continuous flow. Like it supposedly, their theory is it, it lifts detritus off the bottom, it gets it suspended, and then the continuous flow pushes it in your overflow. So the clean is just a pulse mode. I could have done fast pulse or something, but... And then six to seven, it's continuous for 50. So my, my idea, I pulse it, I get the detritus, get it suspended, and then I push it on down and uh, into the gutta. So then I have seven, eight, continuous at 40%. And I have all these like 15 minute profiles I made. I call them ramp down 15 and ramp up 15. So ramp down 15, I have it at 60%, going all the way down to like 30% over the course of 15 minutes and ramp up is just a complement to that so it ramps down and up down and up that sort of thing and another continuous for 30 the clean 50 40 ramp up 60 and that's about almost before when my lights come on and pulse 10 to 5 that's 
It's 10 seconds continuous at a high rate and then five seconds at a low rate, uh, which is basically like the pulse on the other ones. The five seconds at the low rate, I think it's still turning or it might almost be stopped. Um, so, you know, and it just kind of goes from here, you know, different pulse modes that I made. And I could put a m many more profiles. It's cool because every hour it'll do something different. Sometimes every half hour it'll do something different or even every 15 minutes. The last line, it's uh, hooked to my Apex and it's just a feed command. So if I want to feed, I just press a button on my Apex, just like a feed button basically. And I forgot how many minutes I have it for, uh, or how many seconds, like 600 seconds or 300 or something like that. I was gonna say minutes, but, um, and you can, you can plug with that and play with it as well, you know. Um, I just like when I'm feeding food just to have the pumps off. I feed a very small amount after 30 seconds, a little bit more, just small doses instead of just dumping it all in at once where it can go wherever. And uh, so, but I'm just off on some tangent. So my review of this thing, it's pretty cool actually. It was a hundred bucks. It's just neat because it gives you the freedom to kind of let it do its thing and program what you want it to do. It was very easy to do. Like I said, if I can do it, like really anyone could. It took 30 seconds just to plug the, well, okay, maybe not in 30 seconds, maybe more like three seconds to plug the thing in. And, uh, you know, on the profiles, you just make the profiles and assign a time to them and uh, simple. So my review so far, I like it. And uh, that's really about it, okay? Any questions, leave them. Any likes, leave them. Any subscribe, you know how it works. And uh, thanks for watching. And watch out for more, more updates.